So multi-stage graph find the minimum cost of the path from 1 to 9 in the given graph using dynamic programming. It is a question of Mumbai University 2014. So the graph is given stages. Stages are V1, this is V2, this is V3, this is third stage, this is fourth stage and this is the fifth stage. So in multi-stage graph sums, multi-stage graph sums they are always solved from backward so you solve them from the back side and get the solution and always these graphs are weight graphs and directed that means you will have some weight in each of the components and they are directed means they point to the next node so from 1 to 9 it is going therefore it is directed from 1 towards 9 so your 1 is the source and 9 is the sink or you can say the destination 1 is the source and 9 is the destination so stage 5 we have to start from that is from the backward so the formula is cost of j is equal to minimum of c of j comma r plus cost of r so first we will find the cost of 9 because that is present in the fifth stage. So cost of 9 will be equal to the minimum of C of. So 9 is not directed to any of the path or any of the node. So what do we write? We will just simply write 9 plus cost of 9 cost of 9 is what 0 so we will write cost of 9 is 0 so you got for the 5th stage why cost of 9 is 0 because 9 is not directed towards any node next let's move on to stage 4 now in stage 4 you have how many nodes? You have 2 nodes. You have 7 and you have 8. So first let's find for 7 up. So we'll write here. We are finding for vertex 7 up. So cost of 7 is equal to min of C. Now 7 is pointing towards what? 7 is pointing towards 9. So we'll write 7 comma 9 plus cost of R. So this is R. R is what? 9. So cost of 9. So we'll write minimum of 7 comma 9 is how much? It is 7 because see here it is 7. So 7 comma 9 is 7. So we write 7. Cost of 9 we have found out it is 0. So plus 0. So you will write 7. So cost of 7. Is 7. Uh. And what is the distance of 7? Distance of 7 is 9. Because it is pointing towards 9. Uh. So you write cost of 7 is 7, distance of 7 is 9. We will find for vertex number 8. Vertex 8. Cost of 8 will be minimum of C of 8,9 plus cost of 9. So minimum of 8 comma 9 is how much? 8 comma 9 is 3. 8 comma 9 is 3. So we will write minimum of 3 plus cost of 9 we have found is 0. So you will get 3. So cost of 8 is 3. And how did you get cost of 8? You got cost of 8 by path. Path of 8. Path of 8 is how much? 9 because 8 is directed towards 9. So stage 4 is done.
Next, we'll move on to stage number three. V3. So, stage three. Stage three. There are how many vertices? Three vertices. Four, five and six. Now, vertex four is connected to seven also and eight also. So, vertex four is directed towards seven. See. 7 and it is directed towards 8. So first let's find for vertex 4. So we'll write stage 3 vertex 4 is connected to 7 and 8 of stage 4. So, again, applying the formula. What is the formula? Cost. Cost of 4 is equal to minimum of. So, minimum of C of. So, you will write your 4 comma connected to 7 plus cost of 7. So, C of 4 comma 7 is how much? 4 comma 7 is 1. So 4 comma 7 is 1. So 1 plus what did we get the cost of 7 as? Cost of 7 was 7. So 1 plus 7. That is how much? 8. But cost of 4 is also minimum of C of 4 comma 8 plus cost of 8. So minimum of C of 4 comma 8 is how much? 4 comma 8 is 4. So 4 plus cost of 8 is how much? Cost of 8 we got 3. So 4 plus 3 that is how much? 7. So which one is giving you the minimum you have this is the minimum 7 is minimum or 8 is minimum 7 is minimum how are you getting 7 by the 8th word text or the 8th connection so you will write the path of 4 is 8 why because 8 is giving the minimum so path will be 8 similarly vertex 4 is done. Now vertex 5. Vertex 5 is connected to 7 and 8. To 7 and 8. So, cost of 5. Cost of 5 will be equal to minimum of C of 5 comma 7 plus cost of 7 comma C of 5 comma 8 plus cost of 8. So this will be minimum of 5 comma 7 is how much? From the diagram we see 5 comma 7 is 6. So 6 plus cost of 7 is 1 cost of 7 is 9 sorry 7 cost of 7 is 7 so 6 plus 7 comma 5 to 8 is 2 plus cost of 8 is 3 so minimum of 6 plus 7 is 13 comma 5. So minimum is what? Minimum is 5. So cost of 5 is 5. And how did we get the minimum with the help of 8? So distance of 5 is 8. Now vertex 6. 
vertex 6 is connected to 7 and 8. Again the same procedure. Cost of 6 is equal to minimum of C of 6 comma 7 plus cost of 7 comma C of 6 comma 8 plus cost of 8. So minimum of C of 6 comma 7. 6 comma 7 is 6 comma 7 is 6. So minimum of 6 plus cost of 7 is 7. 6 comma 8 is 2 plus cost of 8 is 3a. So minimum of C of 13 comma 5. So your cost is 5. So cost of 6 is 5. And how did you get this 5? With the help of 8. So distance of 6 is 8. So this is all about the stage 3. Now let's move on to stage 2. Stage 2. In stage 2 you have 2 vertices 2 and 3. So stage 2 is V2. V2 has 2 vertices 2 and 3. 2 is connected to 4. 2 is connected to 5. 2 is connected to 6. 3 is connected to 4. 3 is connected to 5. 3 is connected to 6. So now out of these three, you need to find the minimum. So what do we do? We'll first solve for two. So vertex two, we write here vertex two is connected to four, five, six. So cost of two will be minimum of c of 2 comma 4 plus cost of 4 comma c of 2 comma 5 plus cost of 5 comma c of 2 comma 6 plus cost of 6 i'm using the formula that is j comma r and this is r so minimum of c of 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 is how much 2 comma 4 is 3 from the diagrams 2 comma 4 is 3 plus we found out cost of 4 cost of 4 how much we have found out cost of 4 is 7 see cost of 4 is 7 so 3 plus 7 uh, comma 2 comma 5 2 comma 5 from the diagram 2 comma 5 is 2 so you will write 2 c of 2 plus cost of 5 cost of 5 we have found out 5 so 5 comma c of 2 comma 6 2 comma 6 from the diagram is 3 so 3 plus cost of 6 is 5 so this will be minimum of C of 9 sorry this is 10 comma this is 7 and this is 8.
so minimum is seven so cost of two is seven and how did you get this seven see four say you got ten five say you got seven six say you got eight so from five you got what you got seven so you will write path of two is five similarly in stage two there is one more vertex vertex number three so we'll write here vertex three is connected to four five and six so cost of three will be minimum of c of four comma sorry sorry three comma four plus cost of four comma c of three comma five plus cost of five plus c of three comma six plus cost of six so minimum of c of three comma four is six plus cost of four is seven then comma three comma five is four plus cost of five is five plus three comma six is eight plus cost of six is how much cost of six is five so five here it will be comma so minimum of c of 6 plus 7 is 13 comma 4 plus 5 9 comma 13 so minimum is 9 so you will write cost of 3 is 9 now how did you get this 9 with the help of 5 correct so path of 3 is 5 now last stage is remaining that is stage 1 so which is that stage stage 1 so stage 1 has how many vertices it has only one vertex that is 1 v1 has one vertex that is stage 1 it is connected to 2 and it is connected to 3 so we'll write here vertex 1 is connected to 2 and 3 so cost of 1 is equal to minimum of c of 1 comma 2 plus cost of 2 comma c of 1 comma 3 plus cost of 3 so it will be minimum of c of 1 comma 2 is how much 1 comma 2 is 5 1 comma 2 is 5 plus cost of 2 we have found out cost of 2 is 7 plus 1 comma 3 is 2 plus cost of 3 is 9 see we have found over here cost of 3 is 9 so we'll write cost of 3 is 9 so minimum of c of 12 comma 2 plus 9 is 11 so minimum is how much 11 so we'll write cost of 1 is 11 and how did you get 11 with the help of 3 because 3 gave you 
11 so path of 1 is 3 so now what we will do we will do right here trace the solution what would be the solution the solution will be path of 1 is equal to 3 path of 3 is equal to 5 path of 5 is equal to 8 path of 8 is equal to 9 so minimum cost is 1 3 5 8 9 if this path is followed then you will get the minimum cost so now we will see from this so what is the minimum cost so this is the first path from 8 you going to 5 from 5 we will go to 3 then to 1 so 1, 3, 5, 8 and 9 is the minimum cost.